about all the other champions in that division. You got Scott Quinn, Carl Frampton here on Wikipedia. Don't get the opportunity, boy. You're working your ass out there. Hey, that's what we do. That's what we do. Deontay's boxing nation. I see it, baby. Y'all the man. That's what it is. I love what you're doing for boxing. Thank you, man. Don't stop. Keep on going strong. Keep on going hard. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? First things first, congratulations to Luis Colazzo. He remains a very dangerous gatekeeper at the welterweight division. He gets a six-round KO over Sammy Vasquez. Also want to say keep your head up, Sammy Vasquez. Tough break. But going back to Luis Colazzo, like I said, he is a very dangerous gatekeeper. He's that man who's standing right there at the gate. When fighters are trying to make that transition from prospect to contender, you have Luis Colazzo standing there right at the gate. And what's so crazy is we've seen him give so many undefeated fighters and just prospects, period, give them their toughest fight. For those of you guys who don't remember, there was a time when Andre Berto, he was looked at as the Keith Thurman of the division. When he was undefeated, there was high aspirations for Andre Berto. And there was one fighter that put the undefeated Andre Berto through a life or death situation. And that was Luis Colazzo. And ever since the Colazzo, the Berto Colazzo fight, Andre Berto has not looked the same. He's not looked the same. I mean, some could argue and say ever since the Victor Ortiz fight. But I truly believe the beginning of the end was after that Luis Colazzo fight. So, once again, Luis Colazzo, he continues to get more opportunities. That's good for him. He's guaranteed to at least make one more really good payday as someone's opponent. You know, speaking of opponents, Luis Colazzo, I think he would have been a really good test for Errol Spence because of the fact that Luis Colazzo is extremely durable. He has a lot of experience. Like I said, he has a reputation of putting undefeated prospects through the most difficult fights. So that would have been interesting to see if Errol Spence could have just walked over him and knocked him out. But it's too late now because Errol Spence is about to most likely fight Brook or make Brook give up his belt. But with that being said, once again, I want to say congratulations to Luis Galazzo. Vicious knockout. Remember, he was also the one that viciously knocked out Victor Ortiz as well. So congratulations to Luis. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.